So guys, I've got my ring light on. What way do you actually put a ring light? Do you put it facing you towards the camera? For a good 10 minutes, I've been trying to... Can you even tell it's on? I mean, look with, at guys. the difference. I, mean, I feel like I'm a pink light squash. Right, I thought I'd mix up the arrangement of the ring because that ring light was not doing me any justice near that big massive window. So I thought, you know, we'll make a change. Why do I look like I'm in a prison? <sighs> right, should we move it there? That's a bit better. Blank background and I can rest my back. Oh, cool. Anyway, right, let's get on because I'm jabbering. So, jabbering is that word? On today's video, Be Kind is going to be a little bit of a change. It's quite a talked about debate, but I don't think it's talked about enough. So, uh, yesterday, my friend went to me. Oh, I've applied to Iceland. I was like, oh, I mean, yeah, good, good job, whatever. Um, and she went, oh, but they haven't, oh, that 10% mark every time. Um, they haven't accepted me because I've got red hair and tattoos. I went, what? So it just sparked up an idea on my head of doing a debate about tattoos and coloured hair. And what do you think about it? Do you think, say if I'm applying to a job or, I know, for, right, I'll be honest, obviously presenting is what I want to go down. I want to be on telly and stuff. And I have asked that question, wearing tattoos and stuff, will it jeopardise that? And will I, do I have to be careful? And as hard as it is, you do. Like, I don't know why, but it, it's just mad. And I have thought about that. But in retail and things like that and but even in telly though why is it why is there so much stigma and why is there so much hysteria around wearing tattoo wearing tattoos having tattoos and having your hair in a different color like surely these day and ages in this modern era it should be accepted and it shouldn't be frowned upon so i did a bit of research and i went into it because I, I delved into it because i was a bit like hang on why and i came across this documentary and I'll, uh, I'll tell you what it's called because I wrote it down. Um, so it's called Confronting the Tattoo Prejudice and What Pre Prejudice? Prejudice? Prejudice. And why is it seen as such a stigma and why is it why are people so dismissive? So three people, so it was two gentlemen and one lady, and they all they all went to this like town, town centre, and they all stood in a corner with all the tattoos on. And as people walked past, they said, oh, hi, have you got a change for a £10 note? Um, like if you've got two fivers or whatever. I'm not kidding you. Every single person walked past and dismissed them and went, no, like, no. And one person even went up to them and said, are you going to mug me? I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't say that, would you? As much as you've got your opinions, each to their own, you would not say you're going to mug me. Because if anything, you're just, you're setting yourself up to be bad. Are you going to mug me? You don't say that. Um, and the man just saw, the man with the tattoo sort of stood there and just was like, have you really just said that? Like, really? Um, and what they were saying is, so when they were stood there with loads of tattoos on, everyone dismissed them and were like, no. And then soon as they got all the tattoos covered up with like this really high quality makeup, and then they stood on the street again and asked, hi, have you got two fivers? Da, 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 da. And about five to ten people actually stood and replied and had a conversation with them. And it was it was mad to see how dismissive they were with tattoos and then how accepting they were without tattoos. And this one man who actually stopped when, the, when he had the tattoos on, he said to him, like, the reason why I said, are you going to mug me is because at first glance, in his opinion, he seemed really like intimidating. Or he said, if I brought you home, if one if one of my daughters brought you home and said, oh, I'm marrying this man, he said, no, I wouldn't have you in my house. But after speaking to you for a couple of minutes, you're actually a really nice person. And it goes to show, never judge a book by its cover. Like, never. Because one, you, you don't know the life story, you don't know the backstory. And two, they're genuinely nice people. Why, why does we go on like this different breed just because they've got tattoos? In my opinion, it's mint, it's so creative, it's imaginative, like it's art, it is body art, and it looks cool as when you're older, like unreal. Um, and yeah, so then they went on to apply into jobs and one of, one of the women walked into McDonald's and said, hiya, um, can I apply for a job? The woman was like, yeah, yeah, I have to do it online. Um, and she was like, oh, will my tattoos be a problem? And the woman was like, mm, yeah, probably. Why? Why is 
this is this big stigma of tattoos why is it so frowned upon when it's body art because I mean, piercings are and things like that. But then belly piercings and ear, ear earrings and stuff, they're not really frowned upon. So why is body art? You go into an art gallery and you appreciate art and you appreciate drawings and things like that. So why not appreciate that on a body, like on a person? And it went on to talk like to the parents and stuff and the families. And one of the mums said, um, well, I don't know, I, uh, right, if you're that type of person, it's mum or mum. Like I always say mum. Mum. It's not a big deal, but you just say mum or mum. I don't know why I said mum. Anyway, moving on. Uh, one of the mums said, look, when I, when he first got tattoos and he walked in the house and he was covered, like, head to toe in them, she was like, I was just, I was disappointed. And I, I thought to myself, there's that side, right? I'm all for tattoos, but then there's that other side uh, what are against it. And that's because it's seen as frightening. And you walk into a shop or you walk into Halfords, actually, you're not actually allowed to go in unless so you get like on the Halford store you get like um you get like a summary at the bottom and it says please don't please do not attend the store if you've got um like body piercings or like tattoos or whatever like oh, something like be appropriately dressed so the three people went in the store like with the like the tattoos covered um and then went in the toilet got all the makeup off and then went on to walk around the store with all the tattoos on shore and it was mad because all the store was so accepting literally they walked up to security they walked up to um like the shopkeepers retail people and was like oh hiya have you seen so and so like oh can you direct me the watches can you direct me the clothes and they were so accepting and so nice about it so why is this this massive stigma and why should they feel inferior to everyone else just because they enjoy body art and they're so that's her passion and a lot of people get it for i wrote it down tributes to people and it's like about people's lives and how like passionate they are about them um and one of the quotes was what one the woman get your words out um one of the oh my life just take a breather um what one of the women said whoa 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 little tongue twister there was um that tattoos make them who they are and when she got the tattoos covered up it was like she lost who she was and she felt really like she lost all that confidence because they feel so powerful walking through the street and everyone gawping that they feel so like this empowerment to people because everyone's staring at them everyone's talking about them but why why is it seen as such a big thing and hair i was absolutely flabbergasted what a word when my friend said to me it's because i've got red hair that they're not allowing me because i've got like hair color i thought oh my gosh like so you're allowed to hair, dye your hair brown black even or red not red blonde but when it comes to different colors bright enthusiastic nice colors you're not allowed because it seems if i walk into aldi and I see a girl or a boy with blue hair, pink hair. I'm like, oh my God, your hair's mint. And like, you compliment them. You don't walk past them and go, bloody heck, luminous. Oh. You don't, like, it's it's not frowned upon. Like, why is tattoo such a, like, seen as such a big thing? Why can't you go for particular jobs? If I want to be an accountant, if I want to be a lawyer, this is another thing. One of the, like, men actually went to court because he got accused of something. And he stood there and he didn't actually commit the crime, but everyone all the jury looked at him as if he was scum because he had all these tattoos on his face and they all assumed he was part of a gang just because you've got tattoos does not mean you're part of a gang like if i had the balls i would get a tattoo like i've said when i'm older i might get like a little love heart just to say i've got one like i'm going on holiday i might get one with my mates as a daft laugh but um and i know i can sit here preaching it's not seen as a big thing and you're all probably like well if it's not seen as a big thing why are you bothered if you're going on telly da, 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 da. but with telly it's because i'm so passionate about the job and stuff i'll do anything like you know to do it and yeah why is it seen as such a big thing because you don't see any presenters with tattoos or anything like that but why like it should be cool it's a trendy thing and i bet you i tell you what right now right all these presenters you see on telly who haven't got any tattoos i bet they do but they're hidden they are they're probably hidden i'm probably gonna get some but i'll just hide them up because you can hide them with makeup or with what clothes you wear but then why hide them flaunt them off so that's the debate i'm going to put some clips in from the 
like the documentary I watched. I'll put the link in the description. But the first clip I'm going to show you is what they look like and who they are. So, yeah, enjoy. I think the thought of having face tattoos and throat tattoos for other people is like a really extreme thing. For me, it's not extreme. You're in a gang or something, you've got face tattoos. And... When people see me and they're like, look disgusted or whatever, I'm like, do you know what, you're just small-minded. Your opinion actually means That was a little clip like. of the tattoos. Personally, I think they're unreal. If I had the bravery to get all those tattoos, I don't think I'd suit them. But I would. Like the mint, the body art. Imagine wearing a bikini and walking down what? Saltburn Pier with that. No, you wouldn't really go down Saltburn Pier, would you? The beach. You'd look cool as. Like, you'd look mint. If it was me and I seen all the tattoos, I'd be like, Whoa. go on, I can't really swear. <laughs> Not on here. But you can, you'd be like, fudge. They're unreal, them. Like, they're really good. They're, they're nice. And they're colourful as well, and they're bright, and, you know, yeah, brave. Um, So, I just, I don't see how it's seen as such a massive thing and they do stand out from the crowd and why should like tattoos and stuff like define who you are like just because you've got a bit of art on you why should that instantaneously make you out to be a gang member or make you out to be this sort of person that you're not like it shouldn't be so the next clip i'm going to show you is them getting all their tattoos like oh no the next clip i'm going to show you is them asking people for change and stuff like that and just watch Watch how people react to them. Hi there. You want to have change? Uh, no. Sorry, dude, you haven't got two fives for a ten, have you? Uh, no. no, no worries, man. Hey, have you got two fives for a ten? No. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, have you got any change for a ten pack? Excuse me? Why aren't you helping me? I'm asking you for help. <sighs> Crazy. <laughs> excuse me, you wouldn't be able to change this, would you? No. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. You wouldn't have... Excuse me. I'm asking for your help. Excuse me. Oh, they look at me like I am a piece of dirt, and they just... They don't engage. They won't look at me in the eye. They just walk past me, and they're just not interested. I think I must have asked 30 odd people. Excuse me. You wouldn't have changed for a tenner, would you? You're going to mug me. You, I, am I going to mug you? Yeah. No. Uh, no. Oh, I kind of just want change for a tenner. I might have to. That's a bit sad, that's your first judgmental thoughts. I did have judgmental issues. Yeah. I said, I've got five daughters, and if one of them was to marry you, I'd disinherit her. Yeah. <laughs> and initially, initially. Yeah, initially. But then when I speak to you for a few minutes, yeah. you seem an okay guy. Yeah. But I wouldn't want you at front of house in a hotel. So can you just see the difference in, like, if you think the lighting's went a bit different, it's because I've had to turn my ring light off because my phone was on, like, 1%, so it's now on charge. Um, can you just see the difference? And then as soon as he started talking to me, he was like, oh, actually, you quite, like, sound you, like, you're really nice. But then he said, I wouldn't have you front of house at a hotel or whatever. But why? Because if I walked into a hotel and I seen a man with loads of tattoos, I'd be like, one, he's mint, and two, hey, honestly, like, it's, I love your tattoos, like, it's mint. I remember being at work, and I was speaking to this woman, and straight away the first thing I said to her was, oh, I love your tattoos, like, what do they all mean? Because I find it so interesting, because people have them, like, in different languages, or, like, tributes and things like that, and, um, yeah, like, it was just really interesting, and I think I'd love it. Now, the next... Right, <laughs> I feel like I'm out of breath because I'm talking so much. I can hear myself breathing and I'm like, why am I so out of breath? Right, so the next video is them actually taking the makeup off and standing in the street and seeing how everyone like treats them differently without all the tattoos and stuff. And I was like, oh my so gosh. And the, sort of, the tributes to my daughter to be there, visible. Yeah, I don't like hiding them. It makes me feel a bit sick to look at myself without them. I can't stand it. I'm really intrigued to see people's reactions without my tattoos because obviously I feel like my tattoos make me who I am. It's going to be like a real test to show me like what people think of just me on my own. Is this as easy to get off as it is to get on? <laughs> well, they're specialist products, so it actually is designed to stay on better than most regular makeups. You should actually be able to go swimming, go out, 
Oh have wow. Have day and have everything stay covered. No way, that's crazy. You've got really warm hands. I'm hot, Bella. I feel like we've just had surgery or something. <laughs> That's disgusting. That's actually awful. I like my cheek tattoos. It gives me a bit of, like, slimline. And I've got these big hamster cheeks, like, eee! Oh, yeah. Um, it's odd. It's not too normal. Like, I'll be happy to rock this. Um, no, I could definitely go back to this and be happy. It's like the nearest one, would yes. you? Um, I think if yeah. you walk through the park... Yeah. Yeah, I thought you looked for a man. You've got so much makeup on. Tattoos. I can actually show you a picture of what I looked like half an hour ago. It's beautiful. I've never seen any, no, anyone like that. Without the tattoos, they didn't seem as, like, intimidated or threatened by me, and they were more than happy to help. It made me feel, yeah, uh, good in one sense and then bad in the other, because this isn't the real me, so I'd like to be treated the same either way. People treated me differently 100% with the makeup on. I set myself up for uh, the negativity already. I know how I can be treated by people. So I think that maybe I had a bit of a barrier up when I was asking for directions, say, when I was tattooed, maybe I was a bit more abrupt. Before, a lot of people didn't even just acknowledge that I was talking, they would just walk straight past. This time, people were actually stopping to talk. And, well, after uh... watching all those clips and seeing all those different reactions, one of them that actually stood out to me was one of the women went up to the man and said, you've got quite a lot of makeup on, like, why? And he said, like, oh, look, like, I've got loads of tattoos, this was me before. And she actually stood there and said, they're beautiful, like, they're lovely, like, why aren't you showing them off? So it goes to show that there is people out there who do appreciate it and do appreciate art and the creativity that they're putting on the bodies and the body art. And it was just mad to see the absolute comparison of it and to see it as well how, like, uncomfortable they felt and how it, they looked at themselves and it just wasn't them and you can't force someone to be this perfect persona when that's not them their true identity is covered in all this amazing tattoos and this body art um so the next clip i'm going to show you is them actually going into harrods and one of them got turned away um when they last went in and like apparently the security guard was like no he can't come in like you know tattoos or whatever in, in a way this might cause a bit of you know miscommunication or what's that word what's that word there's a word it'll come to me there's a word um do you not think it's a bit like discrimination because you wouldn't say that to it could be quite seen as controversial but you wouldn't say that to anyone else trying to get in you know and just because they've got tattoos why are you discriminating against discriminating against them just because they've got a bit of body art or because they've got a bit of you know difference and uniqueness about them why we should all be accepting um so yeah i'm going to show you that if i can actually get in i'm going to go to my makeup counter i'm going to ask them to like color swatch my face and see how they feel when they take my makeup off and see all my tattoos underneath it foundation off. It's really heavy. Sorry, where's watches? Watches? Uh, Men's watches. Yes. It's just literally crossing the other side. Yeah. No worries. Thank you. Do you know where the watches are, mate? All the way to the very end. Fine jewellery. Don't worry. Yeah. Thank you. So do you like facial tattoos? Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. What is it? Um, it's a mandala. Men's watches. That can be on that. Yeah. Blinded. Would you be allowed to have facial tattoos here? No. No? There is a guy that's got them on the neck. Face, I'm not sure. Okay. I wanted to shock her. 
I kind of wanted her to be shocked, but she wasn't. She liked it. Oh, I can't believe it, actually. I mean, look at the comparison in that. Literally, they all walked into the shop, no one was phased, and it was so accepted. And you shouldn't ever dismiss anyone, whether they do something that you're not really into or anything like that, because never judge a book by its cover, ever. Everyone's different, each to their own. And you and you, you and you, you enjoy what you're doing. You and you. You enjoy what you're doing. So let everyone else enjoy what they're doing. So don't ever put anyone down or discriminate against anyone because at the end of the day, we're all in one world and each to their own. Everyone's different. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope that it's given you a little insight not to be judgmental and not to ever judge anyone because look how lovely they were, how genuinely nice they were. Like, they were like, oh, mate, like, you know, they were just really pleasant and nice and well-mannered and... Just don't judge anyone. So yeah, I hope you've really enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit long and I feel like I've rambled on. But I wanted to go into a lot of depth with it and a lot of detail. And yeah, please comment and subscribe. Follow my Instagram page, what I'm going to put now. And thank you so much for the continuous support. And have a lovely day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. Right, see you later. Bye.